Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Joseph Lopez. I'm the State Ambassador to West Cal Academy. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different from what I usually do from the previous two semesters that I talked in front of JP's class. The previous two semesters, I would just do an impromptu and I would just ramble on like an idiot. However, today, I felt as if that uh, it requires more dignity. And in this case, it, uh, Dr. Craig Smith, our provost, decides that it would uh, help me out with this speech. So I've worked with JP for over a year now. It's hard to believe that it's been a year since I take it that he's half salesman, no instructor when he's up here. I, I joke with him several times. I say, do you even teach? He does, from what I've seen. I'm, and I'm amazed by how much we've grown and how several important people feel that same particular way. From late October to now, this program has proven to be very fruitful for all parties, political and just non-political. However, there were several setbacks in, in anxiety management. So I'm here to tell you guys that uh, the main point is uh, it's, it's, it, it, it requires a lot of work and that we were nobody special. So that's what I'm going to get into. But before I dive into our progress, I wish for you all to get to know me. Uh, Harry Zhang was here, um, other people have been here, and so I decided it'd be good to know me. I was born January 12th, 1993, to an immigrant father and an American mother. I, live in Wom I lived in Wilmington, still do, my entire life. Wilmington, you guys don't know, is near the port of LA. Think Long Beach, that's where it's at. However, I wish to never step foot in that particular town ever again after 28. JP, let's make that happen. We never really had much. A method to save money from my family have adopt, has adopted, we only celebrated my birthday once when I was two. Although I lived in a neighborhood that was relatively poor and the neighbors accepted their lives as such, I perceived myself as someone not from that particular strain. My career choice is to be a corporate lawyer. Litigation is interesting to me. Litigation is, you know, the folks that go in front of court and they argue in front of the judge all the way between district court to the Supreme Court. And I wish to attend Bull Hall School of Law, which is Berkeley. I came up with that decision by following JP's advice to visit the school and immerse myself in the environment. When it comes to contributing to West Cal, I anticipate being their chief legal officer. To quote the Godfather, JP would love to, to uh, allude to, the lawyer with the briefcase me, can steal more money than the man with the gun, Chris. It's an inside joke. Chris would love that. I'm convinced that this career is for me. The confidence derives from West Cal's interviews and events. I interviewed Kevin James, president of the Board of Public Works, and Jennifer Aniston's former attorney. Um, Elon Carr current prosecutor for the LA County DA's office, and I think some people wanted to interview him here, and I'll get to you definitely by the end of the night. He used to prosecute Iraqi terrorists in Iraqi courts. It's the first time that a, an American has ever done that. And I'm privileged to have at least an hour, or God knows, two hours of his time. So, at home field advantage, we beat them. John Fellows, the city, of, the city attorney of Torrance, Oh, I love this one. Nanette Baragan, former associate to Latham Watkins, LLP, big law firm, and congresswoman-elect for the 44th District, and Jason Law, the examining attorney for the U.S. Patent Trade Office. With respect to events, our USPTO trademark events played a role in determining which type of law I wish to practice. And I want to get to this. The main point of all this boasting is to showcase to you all that this was accomplished by taking full advantage of West Cal's resources. JP never forced me to do anything. If I needed help, he consulted me in every way he can. Whether you wish to earn a C and just get by, or enrich your career, West Cal can be that machine. In a nutshell, West Cal is making my fantasies in all sectors of my life into a reality. And I want to share with you the temporary setbacks to our success to showcase that we are no body special. I lost my childhood friends, but I have brand new family members. Sometimes I piss off my family members to the 11th degree, but I intend not to. 
However, as for revenge, they take me off to the 12th degree. Nonetheless, I support whatever they do. We've made several mistakes. We're not perfect. We lost people. It's a lesson learned. However, I wish the recent turn of events demonstrated our aggregate growth as a company and as individuals. So I turn the page on that dark path and look to the future. I want to focus on our three marquee moments. Number one, Halloween night and Gary Johnson. <coughs> number two, Nanette Baragan's upset victory over Isidore Hall. And number three, have you told them already? Our new slogan. I know you have it. Good. Good. You listen to me. On Halloween night, we pinned Governor Gary Johnson. I'm pretty sure you guys know him. He's yelling and screaming. With our honorary West Cal Academy pin. Governor Johnson supports our program. And he demonstrated that when he defended state coordinator Chris Castillo from an audience member insisting undocumented people be defined as, quote, illegal aliens, unquote. To cap off the night, Governor Johnson flashed our honorary gang sign. The event was co-sponsored with Heyo Studios and Harry Zhang. I appreciate sure you guys know Harry by now. Thank you, Shay, for the pictures too, by the way. They're wonderful. Thank you. She's brilliant. On election night, Chris, JP, oh, and of course, Melanie. How can I forget Melanie? She was with us too. And Nina, yeah, you, you were there too. I totally forgot that <laughs> you were there. I apologize. Um, no, nobody threw anything anywhere. It's good to see you now. On election night, Chris, JP, and myself attended Annette Baragan's election party. After months of hard work, she stunned the favorite candidate, Isidore Hall. The best part is that West Cal took most of the credit for one of the biggest upsets in California politics history. What we did, I don't know. Tonight, you're all in for a treat. This past Saturday, in a drunken, sorrowful stupor, I blurted out what JP says is my greatest contribution to West Cal Academy. I disagree in some respects, but that's okay. In point, I don't contribute anything about it. Anyways, it took us until four in the morning to sort everything out, but I believe it was worth it. Pursue the truth is terminated. Our new slogan is, has he told you yet, by the way? You haven't told him. Okay, good, I just wanna make sure. Our new slogan is, make education great again. Mega. Don't worry, I'll get to you. I'll get to you off. I said it in a drunken, sorrowful stupor. This is filed in our name, in the US Patent Trademark uh, database. And if Larraza likes it, I mean, how can it be associated with Trump anyways now? 2017 will be a monumental year. Presentations and partnerships. Chris and I will wrap up Lawndale and base our headquarters in their brand new community center. I anticipate presentations spanning from Berkeley to San Diego and everything in between. I anticipate my presentations to Redondo, Hermosa, and Manhattan Beach City Councils. No matter who is president of the United States, if we staff the federal government, we own it. West Cal is that staffing medium. Now let's make education great again. 